Hey, this is Sapporo Zion for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Metaballs animation in Adobe After Effects. So, Metaballs refers to these blobby spherical shapes over here. Their whole thing is that they can meld together when near each other. They make versatile tools for modeling organic shapes, and they're most known for how they resemble cell division in biology. We're going to be using a combination of Gaussian Blur, Simple Choker, and Rough and Edges, all on an adjustment layer. We're really just combining a few effects and altering settings to get the look that we want here. So you can see this is what the project looks like when we're done. This is a fun technique for making shapes look blobby. It's useful for any animation that could use a more organic, melded together look. Science theme pieces, liquid animations, even melding together text shapes. It's also a good way to learn how to use simple choker and combine effects together. We won't be using anything external, just these shapes here. Um, you can find this project file with everything set up in the video description below. So let's get started. So this is what it looks like without any of those effects applied. Um, <clears throat> And uh, for those wondering, the circles look like that because there's a wiggle paths um, effect added to them. So first thing we're going to do, double click inside the pre-account called Amoeba to head inside of it. And we're going to be making a new adjustment layer. So let's go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And it's automatically placed on top of all these layers, but that's, that's good. You want it on top of all these layers. So effects applied on an adjustment layer apply to everything below it, so it's useful for putting on a bunch of effects at once. So let's head over to effects. I'm going to put in Gaussian Blur. Let's drag it over here. Come on. Come with me. Thank you. Um, this is for blurring the objects, as you might figure out. So let's put blurriness at 50. Oh, looks like I accidentally uh, put two of them on. There we go. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is simple choker. That's pretty important. Simple choker. Let's put you on. So simple choker is for expanding or shrinking the edge of a mat, or in this case, the object's appearance. So this is quite blurred, but let's start working on this effect over here. Let's set that to 50. Choke mat and simple choker, I'm putting it to 50. Wow, look at that. And you can already see that the edges are starting to look blobby. So let's see what it looks like so far. Okay. So those two effects are quite important here. The blur and the choker together create that blobby effect. But we can do more over here. So let's add another effect we're going to put in Roughen Edges. And I know what you're thinking. It says Roughen in the name. But there's a way to use this that actually smooths out your shapes. So we're going to be, uh, let's look for the border and let's change the border to 25. It's going to be very thick. Don't worry yet. I know that it looks kind of crinkly, but let's get edge sharpness. So edge sharpness, like we want it all the way down. We want it about one and fractal influence. We want that all the way at zero. So fractal influence um, is like, you know, how many shapes do you want in your border appearing here? And in sharpness, we want it quite low, but not so low as to be uh, fuzzy. That's the other look we would get. So one is, is a pretty good number for this. Um, now, if I increase the sharpness, I would get pointy, you know, between the two of them. If I increase these, it would get very pointy, but pulling it back, has the opposite effect. Um, and this is just kind of a, a personal choice thing. I want them to uh, overlap with each other, like their layers. I want their colors to, to blend. So I've selected all my blobs. And I'm going to go over to their layer modes. I'm going to hit screen. And that's going to have them, their colors are going to overlap. By the way, if you don't see this setup, hit toggle switches and modes. Yeah, because if you see this, that's uh, a bunch of other controls. So we want your, your uh, modes visible. All right. So like I mentioned before, this effect can be used to achieve this blobby amoeba-like look. It's good for merging shapes together in an organic kind of way. Bubbles, puddles, text shapes, anything that you want to animate melding or splitting apart could benefit from this kind of technique. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a metaballs animation in Adobe After Effects. This has been Sapporo Zines for Noble Desktop.